Hi, this is Nicholas Bell with Ion Cinema, here to review Things Heard and Seen, uh, the sixth film from Sherry Springer Berman and Robert Polcini, uh, the co-directors uh, who had started off, of course, as documentary filmmakers, who are best uh, remembered for their 2003 narrative breakout, American Splendor, which was Oscar nominated. Um, they went on to do a number of other American indie-ish films, including Girl Most Likely To and The Extra Man, uh, and probably their most mainstream effort to date was The Nanny Diaries, starring Scarlett Johansson in 2005. Uh, so this latest film is quite a surprise uh, considering the source. It's based on a 2017 novel uh, by Elizabeth Brundage called All Things Come to Appear. Uh, and basically it's a psychological thriller genre film uh, that feels very much like uh, the studio output of the 1970s with uh, strong character development and uh, potentially goofy but overstuffed and zany uh, narratives that uh, of, of films that were being made then. So it kind of completely took me by surprise. Um, Amanda Seyfried and James Norton play Catherine and George Clare. Uh, they live in New York. It's set in uh, 1979 ostensibly. Uh, they're giving a going away party. Uh, he has his PhD, he has taken a job as an art professor, an adjunct uh, at a small college, Saginaw College at the, uh, uh, in upstate New York. Um, she's kind of uprooting her life for him uh, and kind of giving up on her dreams to do it. They have a small child together. Franny, played by Anna Sophia Heger. Uh, they make the journey. The old house uh, is an old farmhouse. Uh, and it, of course, has a significant history. Uh, the original owners of reverends might have killed his wife in the 1860s. She might be haunting Claire, who thinks she's seeing things. Uh, and immediately we learn that um, George is kind of a charlatan uh, and kind of an interesting reversal of Patricia Highsmith's uh, Tom Ripley uh, in that he is not the man he says he is in any regard whatsoever. Uh, and all, every moment of this film is packed with some kind of information or supporting character that's adding to uh, the complexity of all these things, but in a way, and even at a running time of two hours, that never seems dull. Uh, the pacing, I think, is excellent. Um, I, the, it, I like how it's shot. Uh, the, the mood and look are pretty uh, pitch perfect for what it is. Um, Amanda Seyfried, as usual, kind of gives her all uh, as this harried woman who's bulimic. It feels very much like Thomas Tryon's Harvest Home uh, meets the Stepford Wives in intriguing ways. Um, there's, you know, it's of course a, a gaslighting film, uh, but even the odd textures uh, in the periphery, of course, there's uh, all these references to Mozart's uh, Lacrimosa and Sylvia Plath's Ariel. Oh, and of course it opens with a, a quote from a 17th century Swedish, Swedish mystic, Emanuel Swedenborg, um, who worked, uh, George's dissertation was about Swedenborg and his relationship with George Innes, an artist, uh, who together, they both more or less got on board believing in birth and death as being parallel, and um, Innes was painting landscapes that were the ideas of Swedenborg, i.e. Uh, souls in transition to death. And so the film is bookended with these paintings that are indeed that, like souls transitioning to death. Uh, so there's a lot of very interesting things uh, that make it seem maybe a lot smarter than it is, but uh, at the same time enough food for thought to uh, ponder uh, some several instances later. F. Murray Abraham, another Mozart reference, uh, is the department head who has kind of a, uh, an interesting little role. I also liked uh, Rhea Seahorn as Justine Sol Solikov, who's a professor of weaving at the same college. Um, just, yeah, everything about this was kind of a novel surprise. Uh, overall, I would give Things Heard and Seen three and a half out of five stars. Thank you. Hey, this is Eric from MyOnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.